How many times have you heard or said, I love foiling, I love surfing, I love kiting, water sports, whatever it is, I love it. What does that mean? Is love a noun, a verb? Are we in love? Are we being loved? Are we loving something? Is it an act? Is it a receiving? A gift? Is it just inherent? As a father, when my child was born, there was some kind of biological survival chemical cocktail, whatever you want to call it, that just flooded me. And I felt an incredible sense of love. So if we say we love foiling, what does that mean? Is it we feel so good? We love that feeling? Is it the whole experience, like being in nature, friends, passion? Is it presence? Doing it brings us so into the moment that we love all that feeling. I mean, how many times have you maybe cut yourself or had a hard fall that you were so present and so enjoying, so into it that you didn't even feel it? And then if we say we love our board, our wing, our foil, get a new one and, oh, I love it. Does that somehow cheapen When we say to our kids or to our spouse or whoever that we love them, is is there a difference? There's this classic episode of Seinfeld where one of the characters gets a compliment and it might even have said, I love you or you're so good looking, something like that. But then as as it unfolds, they say that to everyone about everything. And so they start wondering, like, does this even mean anything? Like, does this, you know, you just say this willy nilly. It has no bearing or meaning. it's like saying, what's up or how's it going? It, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a, a greeting, something on autopilot. I've seen the parent who is overbearing and borderline aggressive and, and domineering towards their child and everyone around them. And we could say that's love, that they're pushing them. They care. They want their child to achieve or be or, or have more than they have. And so that the deep, 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 motivation and drive is from love. And so then it brings it back to what is love? Is it how we feel in the moment? Does that feel loving when someone's yelling at us or pushing us or if they hit us to to push us forward? Is that love? Do we measure it in outcome? As in, I've heard famous athletes recently talking about how their abusive parent was pushing them, hitting them, driving them. And then the outcome was they became super successful, made tons of money. And now they're super loving to everyone around them and the generous. Do we measure it in the outcome regardless, even if it feels horrible in the moment? Is that still loving? There's a book, I forget the author offhand, but look it up. It's easy to find called The Love Languages and the idea that we want to be loved in a certain way. And if we understand what feels loving, is it kind words? Is it gifts? Is it acts of service? Is it touch, affection, time? So if we know this love language, then we're more likely to have a more satisfying relationship because often what happens is someone does what they want to others and the other person, that's not their love language, so they don't appreciate it. So if we give someone gifts and they don't like gifts, it doesn't mean anything to them. It's not going anywhere. And then back to like, so what? what is love? Is it doing what the other person wants? Is it doing what feels good to us? Neither, both. Do we love the crashes? You know, I've heard the idea that leprosy or, or things like that, the body's pain receptors are damaged. And so people damage themselves to the point of, of disfigurement and even death. And so like pain sucks and it's no fun. And at the same time, we could see it as loving because it keeps us alive. It's, it protects us. Without it, we would destroy ourselves. And they could even say that childbirth is that way, that that biologically those wonderful, amazing cocktail of of just euphoria and that we feel when a new life comes into this world is a it's a survival thing. It's to keep parents and to take care of their young ones, even though they might not want to, that that we could just boil it down to it's a survival function to continue the species. That's why reproduction feels so good. So I'd love, there's that word again, to hear. What does love mean to you? What do you think of love? I I have a practice where I think about the words I say when I say I love or I'm about to say I love something or someone. I think about what what does that mean? What am I really trying to communicate to this person? So thanks for watching. I hope this was enjoyable and even lovely. YouTube has a super thanks. Come on over to the website. Check out the Learn to Foil course meditate, 
And most of all, let's do all we can to put and be more loving and to feel loved. Thanks so much. Love to see you out there.